here in the United States was uh, international relations and hot spots. Uh, that includes the battle against ISIS, the humanitarian crisis in Syria, and of course, U.S. relations with Russia. Here with us uh, to discuss uh, the topics, what we heard in that final presidential debate, our global affairs correspondent, Elise Labitt. Uh, Elise, I want to start with what Donald Trump called the great migration of refugees coming to the United States. And she's taking in tens of thousands of Syrian refugees who probably, in many cases, not probably, who are definitely, me- in many cases, ISIS aligned, and we now have them in our country, and wait till you see, this is going to be the great Trojan horse, and wait till you see what happens in the coming years. Lots of luck, Hillary. Thanks a lot for doing a great job. All right, Lise, how many refugees from Syria are coming to the United States right now, and how many does Hillary Clinton want to come to the United States, and what about the vetting process? Well, it is true what Donald Trump said, that the U.S. has taken in about 12,000 500 refugees from the end of the fiscal year, which ended last month. Hillary Clinton uh, wants to take in 65,000 Syrian refugees. So that is, a, as Donald Trump said, a 550 percent increase. But, Wolf, these Syrian refugees um, and refugees in general face some of the strictest vetting that the United States has for travelers to the United States. There are very strict background checks. Bi- biometrics, identity checks, counterterrorism checks. And that vetting process can take up to two years. There is no evidence that there, there are any members of ISIS here in the United States. And so I think those claims are a little bit inflated. But it certainly is true that um, there are thousands of refugees. But, but even so, those Syrian refugees, in addition to those strict vetting, have even more vetting than regular refugees. Very strict. R- refugees coming from other countries. Uh, they also strongly disagreed on the allegation that Russia is involved in cyber attacks against the United States. Hillary Clinton cited what she called 17 intelligence agencies, military and civilian here in the United States, who believe, concluded that Russia is doing it. Trump said our country has no idea. Who's right? Well, it is true that 17 intelligence agencies, and these are the intelligence agencies that would be working for Donald Trump and reporting to him if he were president, have said with reasonable confidence uh, that this, the Russia was behind those attacks. And they also went further to say that they have confidence that this was directed by senior levels of the government. Now, if you look at the debate... She now, said Putin. Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Said well, Putin the intelligence person. agencies have said senior levels um, of the government, and a lot of people that follow Russia know that Putin calls a lot of the shots, specifically on foreign policy. But if you look last night at that debate, wasn't Vladimir Putin kind of the third presence in the room as uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton tried to talk about who would be a better commander in chief in terms of fighting Russian aggression around the world? I mean, even as that debate was going on, you had Russia moving one of the biggest deployments it's had since the Cold War to Syria to try to end the war in the lead up to the U.S. election. So certainly Russia going to be a very big challenge for the next president. Hillary Clinton went one step further saying Putin wants Trump elected because he could be, according to Hillary Clinton, Putin's puppet. That's right. He called her uh, his puppet, too. All right. Uh, Thanks very much, at least for that. Uh, Coming up. uh